This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and, ha and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechahakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who honored the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect. So this uh, whore that um, John the Revelator saw, all right, um, is the daughter of Babylon. And the waters, as the scriptures speaks about, is the uh, nations, all right? When you jump down to verse 15, it says, And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth are people and multitudes and nations and tongues. So it's the various nations. The fornication, all right, or the wine, I should say, that made all of the, uh, you know, kings, which the kings represents the various different nations, because as the scriptures tells us, as the uh, king is, so are the people, right? Okay, the uh, kings which have been drunk of the wine, the wine is the philosophies, the ideologies, okay, that the whore pushes, okay, which her ideologies are, you know, abominable. That's why it's it says it's, uh, you know, fornication, all right, as it says in verse 2, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk, meaning what? Oversaturated, overindulged. With the wine, the philosophies, ideologies of her fornications. And when you read it in the uh, NLT, it says the kings of the world have committed adultery with her and the people who belong to this world have been made drunk by the wine of her immorality. All right. And morals. America, Babylon, the great. Which is ruled by the biblical Edomites pushes an immoral way of living, all right? A way of living that is contrary to life, contrary to righteousness, and contrary to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which, as the scriptures tells us, that this man of sin comes, you know, uh, in, a, in, a vib in a vibration that opposeth the Most High. And this right here, coming from Russia Today, Africa must, quote, save the world from the, um, you know, <laughs> you know, we can't even say these, say that word because of the world that we're living in. It's, um, you know, what's the word? It's prohibited to speak against the wickedness that this place is, this place promotes. So we'll call it the the um, same, the same Z's, right? Africa must save the world from the same Z's Ugandan president. So let's read this. It says, Yo Wari insists that the alphabet people are a major threat to the, quote, procreation of the human race. And that is, you know, a fact. All right. As the scripture tells us, male and female created he them. And when he created them, he gave them a commandment. Right? Let's find that commandment that the Lord gave unto the uh, population, all right, of creation of man that he created on the earth. This is the book of. 
Genesis, going back to the beginning, chapter 1, verse 27. It says, So God created man in his own image, and the image of the mo of power, I shall say powers, created man in his own image, and the image of power, Allah Hayyim, created he him, male and female, created he them. And Allah Hayyim blessed them, and Allah Hayyim said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. All right. How does a male and female, how do humanity multiply? By the act of sex, which produces children, which is called what? Reproduction. Okay. Reproduction. So this alphabet lifestyle is not capable of producing again that's what reprodu reproduction means right it's not able to promote reproduction of life and therefore it is counterproductive okay but in that way of living as i uh, you know is a mindset is a wine is a ideology that is promoted by none other than the biblical edomites under the power of their empire babylon the great or america the african continent should lead the way in saving the world from samesies ugandan president yoweri has declared as he prepares to sign into law a anti-alphabet bill passed by the country's parliament last month. The bill, which Amnesty International has slammed as appalling and vaguely worded. OK, so this is uh, the spirit of anti messiah When anybody comes up against um, any type of thought process that is that opposes the alphabet, they're actually, and in reality, coming up against the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because that ordinance of um, opposite production, all right, or opposite love of a man and a woman, that was something that was ordained, created, ordered by the Heavenly Father Himself, as we just read in the beginning. So it says imposes and vaguely worded imposes the death penalty for aggregated samesies the, the, and life imprisonment for the recruitment, promotion and funding of samesies activity in Uganda. All right. And, and you know, the death penalty is is actually a biblical punishment ordained once again by the creator of heaven and earth the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one and only true living power, he created that ordinance of the punishment of death if um, an individual, whether it be a male or a female, enter, you know, uh, acts or acts takes part, take, I should say, takes, uh, partakes in the act of um, same you know, uh, same, same, samesies. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights have urged the president of the East African country not to sign it into law. But Museveni insisted on Sunday at the first ever interparliamentary conference on family values and sovereignty in the Ugandan city of Entebbe. That same Z's is a major threat to you to humanity and they have no idea really just how much of a threat it is, because ultimately, let's get the scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter one, verse nine, except the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant we would have been like 
we have been as Sodom and we would have been like unto Gomorrah. All right. And we know what happened unto Sodom and Gomorrah. It was completely wiped off the earth. As it says in NLT, if the Lord of heaven's armies had not spared a few of us, which that few is really the the remnant of Israel, we would have been wiped out like Sodom and destroyed like Gomorrah. All right. But a the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for the remnant of Israel who is not of this world. Because as we read in Revelation 17 chapter, the uh, the people of this world have drunken of the wine of the uh, fornication of the great whore. Meaning what? They have been made intoxicated by the wickedness that this uh, this whore pr uh, promotes and their minds are in a in agreement with the ways of evil, the ways of of the anti-messiah spirit okay not uh, the uh, individual but uh, the anti-messiah spirit because as john said <laughs> there there are many anti-messiahs so let's continue reading it says if people of opposite you know stop appreciating one another then how will humanity race be pro uh, pro propagated and that's what, you know, Esau really wants. You know, he doesn't want a world where people, where, where men are men and women are women. He wants a world where men are women and women are men and dogs are cats and cats are lions and tigers. Like he, he's completely just uh, uh, turning things upside down. Hey, the as the scripture says, the whole earth is out of course. All right, let's pull that up. The earth is out of course, and it's because the ones who the earth was created to be uh, ruled by are not in authority. Starting with, of course, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, Psalms chapter 60. It's like it, not 62. Um, why is that scripture escaping me? I just type it in. We are gods. Do, do. Psalms 82. I know it was a two in there. Um, let's pull it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 4. It says. You know what? Let's start at the start at two. It says, how long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Salah. You know, and this is a, uh, a question that, you know, all of the hopeful elect are asking, you know, are beseeching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. OK, because we're seeing this wickedness we're seeing the 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 fornication the immorality is just you know overtake the earth as it says in second edges of the 15th chapter that the their hurtful works are fulfilled okay but we also know that the lord said he will not hold his tongue no more as touching the wicked but each day that goes by and there hasn't just been you know the the earth just <laughs> hasn't just opened up and then swallowed all of these uh, alphabets and, and 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 all of these you know trans uh, ascendants right it's just a, another day where we're just asking this question how long will you accept the persons of the wicked the heavenly Yahweh right and every time that we pray and every time that we beseech and every time when we supplicate and every time that we cry out hey those prayers are, are being, you know, put into the presence of the Heavenly Father by a our high priest. OK. And that's why, as it says in um, Isaiah 62, give him no rest until he makes Jerusalem a praise on the earth again. Right. And Jerusalem, Yerushalayim means teachers of peace. 
And in order to teach peace, in order to have peace, you must have the ways of the God of peace being activated on the earth. And only one and only way that can happen is if the people of peace are in authority. Verse three, defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Who is that? The Israelites. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All right. All of the foundation. This is a foundational. Uh, um, what you will a foundational uh, uh, pillar, man. A man, male and female. That's foundational. You see that in 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 nature, okay? A male animal and a female animal getting together to procreate. That that's in the DNA, the coding, if you will, of every animal. But here it is, the one who, the you know the the human right, the human creation or the creature. The one who the Lord said that to have dominion over all of the other creations. Because we are underneath the basis of man, right? The brute beast. You have human. Mankind that is that is going after a way that is completely against against the nature of humanity because of who none other than the devil himself. And you have these other nations, whether it be by coercion, whether it be by, uh, you know, um, pressure, whether it be by force, whether it be by the wanting of riches. They have drunk that wine. And therefore, they are now also following after the, uh, the ways of the wicked. And this is why Yahweh Shai has to come back. And set up and, and rule with a rod of iron, man. You see, when you have this, when you have people protesting hard, right? These people are willing to sacrifice their bodies, their lives, their jobs to promote this evil and wicked, abominable way of life. Because they are drunk with this immorality. So, Yahweh Shai has to come with 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 a uh, uh, fierceness with a rod of iron which represents a very very uh, uh stringent strict way of ruling so that he can enforce righteousness on the earth it has to be enforced because these people are gone even a hey, even majority of our own people even the majority of israelites the sons of God, they are gone. They are revolted and gone. It says, the president of the East African nation also assured that gathering, that the gathering, the gathering that there would be no comprehensive sexuality education in Uganda, saying that children need to grow as children. But see, Esau, he says, and, and Babylon the Great is a prime example of it. That oh, children can uh, choose which you know uh, uh, gender they want to be. That a minor, so-called minor, can actually go through a, a process to where they can change their natural, you know, uh, born gender. You know, it says one. Alphabet activists who attended the conference uh, um, anonymously via Zoom said African leaders were aiming to, quote, reject American influence and trying to come up with an African strategy to fight samesies. Now, why would they say this? Now, remember, this is a a, a alphabet activist is saying what? That these African leaders Right. This is an alphabet activist that is saying these African leaders were aiming, attempting 
to reject American influence. And what is the influence? The influence is nothing but the wine of her immoralities, this wicked way of living. And as the scripture says, and let's get that in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Drunken with what? That wine, that ideology, that wicked philosophy. The wicked mindset of opposing and doing everything that is against the order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. See, that's what's in the cup of Babylon. And the cup of Babylon is the opposite, is, is Satanism. Okay? Is witchcraft. Is Baphomet. <laughs> is Molech. That's what's in that cup. Now, the cup, it looks appealing, right? Just like how the horde. She looks appealing, but what is what she is offering to the to to the the nations is death. But see, because these nations don't have the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they did what? They drunk of that cup. So it says the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And they're seeing that the the the, the um, consequence. They're seeing the outcome of drinking that cup, which is basically causing their whole, you know, way of life to be, you know, completely destroyed to the point where now they have to feel they feel the need to have to try to save the world because of the influence of a Babylon the Great that they were drinking for so many years. All right. So this is another article. Um, this also came out today. It says France wants Africa <laughs> to copy West on happy rights. France wants Africa to copy West on happy rights. The call comes in response to a proposed Ga uh, Ga Gahanan, a Guyanian, Ga Guyanian, or Gahanan, Salaki, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, either way, law which could see jail terms for same Z's acts. See, see these nations, they 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 they're waking up to the fact that the uh, influence of Babylon the Great caused nothing but confusion and and, and chaos. And really just the the uh, the decadency of the world. All right. Of their nations, of their people. So it says African nations should follow the lead. <laughs> lead to where? Straight to the straight to death, man. Straight to straight to hellfire. And I'm not talking about the the um, some netherworld hell. I'm talking about that second death. Shall follow the lead. Of the West when it comes to happy rights, French Minister of International Partnerships, Crassola, however you pronounce the last name, has said, affirming her commitment to promoting uh, alphabet rights to the continent. Now, I looked up who this Crisola person is because this is a French minister saying that the African countries should follow the West, follow the beast, right? And affirming her commitment to promoting the the alphabet rights on the continent. So this French minister is promoting <laughs> promoting abominable behavior, immoralities on the continent of Africa. Now, when we go to who this person is, like I said, I googled googled her because we we know what it is, but I want to get I want to get a face to match. This is her right here, as you see the name. All right, this is a, a, a the counterpart to Esau. All right, his female counterpart is the one 
that is making this this claim that the African nations need to follow the West when it comes to same uh, alphabet rights. When the Lord, the Heavenly Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, said that the only right that this type of behavior has is the right to death. <laughs> All right. It says at the press conference in Ghana's capital, Accra, on Monday, uh, Chrysola insisted that happy rights are a question of human rights, which must be protected by law. See? These laws, they, they think to change times and laws, right? The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the everlasting covenant. All right, they have transgressed the law. Let me, let me pull that up. One of my favorite scriptures. Isaiah 24. The earth, verse 5, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law. See, they're, they're saying that, no, this need these this behavior needs to be protected by laws. When the heavenly father said, no, there is a law is that is against this behavior. Change the ordinances. What is the order? And broken the covenant, the everlasting covenants. The earth suffers for the sins of its people, for they have twisted God's instructions, violated his laws and broken his everlasting covenant. All right. But these are the same people that say that they are they believe in the Bible. All right. This is why they're they're made found to be liars, man, because they 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 speak lies. As it says in what is that Isaiah, uh, Psalms fifty eight, the wicked are estranged from the the womb. As soon as they be born, they go out speaking lies. Okay, that's what his mo is since since the beginning. He is a he he's been a liar. He is a liar and the father of it, as as Yahweh Shai said. So no, these people do not uh, uh, serve and fear and believe. And the one and only true living God They come after the energy of Satan, man Okay, straight up and down And their works show forth that Their laws show forth that It's it's very evident who they um, serve Because they literally do everything They make laws that are against That are opposing the righteous laws and ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's why Yahweh Shah is going to come and trample them, man. That's why he's going to stain his raiment with their blood. Okay? And hey, we cannot wait until that for that day. So let's go back. I'm gonna hold that, but let's go back to this article. It says, in my country. And in the European Union, we promote human rights. And of course, in my ministry, <laughs> we have an ambassador to promote uh, alphabet rights. See, they're saying they, this is what they promote. They're, they, the, the, their own tongue is a witness against them, man. If we can read the scriptures and the scriptures say that this type of behavior is a, a, a you know abomin abomination, and they must surely be put to death, right? If we read scripture and say, and and as Yahweh Shah said, he said this about Israelites. How much more about the nation that he hates? That anyone who uh, uh, transgresses the law and teaches men to do so, they should be called the least in the kingdom. Now he was talking about Israelites. How much more of Esau? That's why Esau is going to be the based, based, based. Of them all Because not only does he teach men to do so He he makes it a law <laughs> Right? He makes it a law And then he makes it a law To not speak against it And this is The same, you know, mindset That Lot was in That we are in Being vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked it says, so what can so what I can say is that this is our values and wherever I go in Africa, I will continue to say 
that we have to respect all of us, the alphabet community, she said, according to local media. The ministry, who is on a three-day visit to Ghana, is the latest foreign leader to advocate for happy rights in Ghana. And we know that Ghana is an, uh, a, a, a country that is made up of majority of, of Israelites. Okay? I believe uh, Ghana was the um, largest exporter of the southern kingdom into, you know, during the transatlantic slave trade. So... You still have to this day Esau trying to push this wicked uh, way upon, you know, uh, our people over there in the west uh, west coast of Africa. He already got our people over here saturated, polluted with this mindset here in Babylon. But no, because he's not a keeper at home, he is continuously day and night. Trying to uh, 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 promote this 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 evilness, man. It says just days after the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris made headlines with her alphabet advocacy and a joint press conference with Ghana's president on Monday as part of her three nation African tour, Harris reaffirmed reaffirmed the U.S. position on alphabet rights, calling it a human rights issue that will not change. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? It's not going to change. America's not going to change. And that's why it's going to get burned. Well, you know what? It is going to change. It's going to change into nothing but sawdust. All right? Sand. Desert. That's how it's going to change. You see? That's why the judgment is written. That's why it's set. And it cannot, and it would not change because this devil has a mind that is completely perverse. <laughs> okay? He's perversed. He says her remarks follow the introduction of the proper human sexual rights and Ghanan, Ghanan family uh, value bills, also known as the anti-happy bill, which is currently being debated in Parliament. If passed, the bill would outlaw support for the happy community and impose jail terms on people who engage in same uh, same, you know, same thing relationships, which really. It, that that the 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 law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what it is. Okay, it shouldn't be no jail time. It should be grave time. Okay, it says um, Ghana Speaker of the Parliament Albine Bagbin has signaled that the West African country intends to pass the bill regardless of interference from the U.S. You see that? Dang, that that's that that's that uh. Drinking, up, you know, that's that wine. You know, these devils trying to put, get their input, all right, their wicked way into the into the nations. The, he goes out to deceive the nations. It says more than thirty African countries has already prohibited the same, uh, same same these relationships. Uganda recently passed a law that makes it illegal to even identify as a a, a um alphabet person okay but what what does babylon do they give you rights they give you awards okay they they give you positions of authority positions to pass and you know you can become a, a politician you got politician uh transcendence <laughs> hey but you know what this is just it's vexing but it also is a sign of the time man this is a, a sign of the time that we're living in and ultimately we know that hey, the Lord is, is, is not mocked all right Isaiah 3 verse 9 the show of their countenance do us witness against them they declare their sin as Sodom they hide it not woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto them unto themselves Say ye to the a, hey, and what is that evil? The scripture tells you that the Lord created all things for Himself. Yeah, even the wicked, for the day of evil, and we are approaching that you know evil, evil days. Okay, Ezekiel the seventh chapter tells you that, an evil and only evil is come, and why is that? Because sin and only sin is being promoted here, and the consequence of sin is evil. Is bad times. Say ye to the righteous 
that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings, the ones who are vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked, the ones who sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, the ones that hate the evil and love the good. It's going to be well with us, Lord willing, all right, when the, the, the evil you know, uh, 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 comes, man. And when the evil overtakes these sinners, it, sh it, it will not overtake us. When the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai comes upon this uh, world, when it comes upon the pain of the wicked, hey, we, we hope to be spared because we stood up for what was right. We stood up for righteousness. Woe to the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Okay, and that's ultimately is going to be what it says. But the wicked are doomed for they will get exactly what they deserve. And what do they deserve? The almighty wrath of Yahweh through his son, Yahweh shot. All right, and we'll close it out with that. And first, uh, Thessalonians, so like, you know. Actually, let me see. All right, Second Thessalonian. Second Thessalonian, chapter one, verse one, verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and, and this troubles us, man. All right, seeing this, seeing our people indulging this, and 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 the fact that when we uh, speak. You know, against it and to try to show our people the right way and we get, you know, uh, ridiculed, we get mocked, right? We get persecuted for it. That troubles us. But the Lord says what? It's a righteous thing to recompense trouble to them that trouble you. And to you who are at trouble, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in a flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not power, the heavenly father. All right. And the way that you don't know him is because of the way that you live, the wickedness that you are indulged in. And obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. And I must needs get one last scripture because it has been on my mind since I was uh, been, I've been reading. Revelation 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and the wrath is and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they shall be judged and that thou shouldest give us give reward unto thy servants the prophets okay what is that reward salvation redemption exemption from the wrath from the destruction and to the saints and that goes to the prophets the men that are teaching, all right, the saints, the believers, and them that fear thy name, small and great, okay? The ones who are young and old, the ones who are, you know, uh, significant and, 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 and insignificant in this world. But hey, as long as you fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you significant, <laughs> okay? And this is the point, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth and who has done that who has destroyed the earth literally but when we get into the actual word destroy it's speaking about that wine all right that wine that this devil has po promoted on the earth it says destroyeth it says to change for the worst to corrupt of minds and morals you see that? So the minds and morals of humanity has been corroded, been corrupt by way of the wine of the of the fornication of Babylon the Great and its, you know, uh, uh, messengers like the NATO, EU, etc. All right. The 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 um, the three unclean spirits that went out of the mouth of the dragon. You even have the uh, false prophet, okay, that Catholicism 
right a uh, uh, religion that even accepts this alphabet lifestyle so hey you know with that i'm gonna close it out there Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ball. Shalom.